filming is not allowed, I'm afraid, on the station. Because no. those guys will remove you, the police. All right? Yeah. So can I ask you to stop? Capitalism is a wonderful system. Okay, a few billion people get nothing. But still, think of all the people that get lots, like you lot. What we need is more capitalism. Go to Primark. Don't worry about the fact that the Chinese people had to work for 50 cents a day. They're Chinese, who cares? There's a billion of them. <laughs> Sir Fred Goodwin's uh, yacht. I've just had a phone in right now live from the Caribbean. Sir Fred Goodwin is saying thank you very much for the £650,000 a year. Enjoy your recession. Enjoy your redundancy. And uh, he sends his love. His tan is coming along nicely now. And his wife looks very beautiful and very happy. £650,000 a year is only about £60,000 a month. I don't know about you, but that's not quite enough for a rich person to live on. So I say we should double Fred Goodwin's pension. Who's with me? Triple it. Triple it. <laughs> quadruple it. Quadruple, definitely. I mean, 60, 60 grand a month isn't enough. Man. Outside Liverpool Street Station, and looking at you lot, you're pretty much a lost cause. <laughs> yes, you know who you are, don't you? His girlfriend. From Hong Kong. From Hong Kong. So suck the F up. I prefer not to think about reality. I like to stay infantile and read about fashionable things in Hollywood and Lindsay Lohan and uh, her girlfriend who she broke up with because these are the important things. And I can't wait until I have children so I can buy them a television set, sit them down in front of it, and they can learn from Hannah Montana and, um, you know, other cartoons and, you know, The Hills on MTV, how people are meant to be. Because the true thing is, most of you people here are ugly and you could really do with getting along to Selfridges and spending some money on Clinique or other beauty products because being old and ugly is really bad. And what we want is for you to be young and beautiful. So please make your way to Harley Street for a breast implant, or a tummy tuck, or a, you know, a face lift, because we can't okay, have we're going, we're going, ugly we're people walking around. around. It doesn't help the economy. Come back with decent sized breasts, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that helps sell. The, have you not listened to anything you've seen on the TV? Come on, the tube is trying to tell us something. You don't see very many ugly people on TV, except in what they call reality shows. And that's a problem with you people. You are the reality, and you're ugly. To you spread the message of peace and love for all the travelers. Thank you, thank you. Well, that's no alarm. Don't touch, touch me, please, sir. Don't touch me, please. Under what authority? Under what authority? Under what authority? I need to, need to film what's going on here, sir. Sorry. Remember. It's not okay. Remember. 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 How can you... Well, well, hold on a second. There's loads of CCTV cameras around. Why not? There's loads of CCTV cameras around. So, so are, you, are you okay to be filmed? Are you okay to be filmed? Yes? Good. So, um, what, the, the argument about it being private property is complete fallaciousness because this is the most public place. I mean, look at it. It's full of people. This is not like your home. So how can you pull that one of its private property on me? Of course it's not private property. This is corporate property, and it's the most public place that there is. So if you remember last week, you actually broke my watch, and you physically ejected me from this station. And then when we got outside, you claimed that I was breaking a bylaw. You claimed, is that an order or a request? Is that an order or a request, sir? You actually forcibly got me out of the station and you use the excuse and the, the, the bylaw number eight says I can't advertise but having a sign that says everything is okay is not advertising so I'd like to know exactly what authority you had in ejecting me from the place I'd also like to know how come you're allowing my friend here to stand here hello I know and you know what I don't know if you've got children, but I have children, and I ask them to do things all the time, and sometimes, thank goodness, they don't, because... But you're not a child, are you? I'm not a child, I'm an adult, right. and I also don't always do what I'm asked to do, because, you see, you, you guys film me all the time with all your cameras around. You never asked for my consent, did you? What's the worst thing that can happen if I film you? You're a good-looking chap, you've got a nice uniform on, I think you'll come out quite nicely. What are you doing? This 
holding a sign that says it's literally what it looks like. It's a good question. It's about the dialectic between corporate advertising and also just the ability for someone to spread the message of peace and for adventures with all the Why, why, why not? Saying, this is what I'm saying, okay? You need to listen to this gentleman, okay? And act upon what his guidance is. And listen to him good. As far as I can see, it's an acceptable behaviour, yeah? And to film on the station to show banners. Right? It's advertising and it's going to be... You're saying this is advertising? Are you telling me that everything is okay is advertising? What exactly are we advertising? No, it's unacceptable behaviour. He's made his point clear. Unacceptable behaviour on a railway station is an offence against a bylaw, which you can be prosecuted for. Right, well, when you say unacceptable behaviour, you can't just make up what you think is unacceptable and not. You right? Just, I mean, I, you know, you've, you've not got permission to do this, have you? Permission to do what? From the railway. To have do then, this. Has anybody got any permission to do anything that they're doing, to walking do around? On railway property, you need specific permission. What to do? What on railway property? To do what you're doing. What are we doing that I you need permission for? Behavior, so right. We're going to believe. You. I understand, we're but we're going to believe, sir. I, I understand that you find it acceptable, behavior, but that's not. To that's now. not a law. We're going a to law is not unacceptable behavior, sir. Please we're don't touch me. Now. Please don't touch me. If you don't go voluntary, I can possibly evict you. Yeah. How? Under what law? Under what authority? By law. Under what by law? Sir. Railway bylaws. Under what bylaw? Bylaws. Which Railway is the exact bylaws. bylaw? If you Rail don't tell me the exact bylaw, the you are breaking the law. Bylaw six. You are bre bylaw six, which bylaw says six. what? What's the matter? What's the matter? It's difficult to explain, but. Uh, but why are you here today? Okay. Because Lots of well, reasons. we're just here to have a good time and to. Partly it's because the media is telling us to always be scared through terrorism and like the economic recession. So we're just trying to do the opposite and say that everything's ah, fine. Okay. So true happiness can only come from within, and um, so we should stop looking to like other things to try and make us happy or scared or full of fear. Uh -huh. And if we just realize for one second that everything that we want in life is infinite and within us, we could spread love and tell everyone that everything's okay. Ah, okay.